Hi, welcome back to Free Do You Hub. So as part of the series on legacy operating systems from Microsoft, we are installing different operating systems which are released by Microsoft. We started from Windows 2.1, then we installed Windows 3.1, followed by Windows 95, 98, and Windows ME. Today we'll be installing Windows XP, which was released on 25th of October 2001. Uh, that was the uh, most advanced and the stable release of Windows, which was much better than any other operating system which was released before this one. So let's continue with the installation of Windows XP. We'll select uh, the new operating system and then we'll select Windows XP. We'll put it in the respective folder. It's a 32-bit operating system. We'll give it around about 4 GB of RAM. We'll continue, no changes here, dynamically allocated and I'm going to give it only 1.5 GB of storage space. Once that's done, let's go to the settings, we'll go in the storage and we'll remove this empty drive and we'll attach the ISO file by clicking on this one and then click on optical drive and OK. That's it, now power up your virtual machine. Now keep one thing in mind that this was the time when SATA hard drives were released and there were some issues with the SATA drivers of Windows XP which came with SP3. So we'll continue, it has detected the hard drive of 1.5 GB, we'll press enter and then we'll format the partition. On Windows XP it required some interaction during the installation process. Later in the operating system, they removed that and it was a seamless installation of the operating system. So this is Windows XP now. We have installed the add-on packs which came with VirtualBox. Now that really helps us in enhancing the features of the virtual machine. Now as you can see this is a new interface quite successful as compared to the other operating systems that we saw earlier. Um, lots of new features on it. Let's go to my computer and uh, I usually use to enable the status bar over here so that I can see the details. Now you can see a very well defined uh, menu bar on the left hand side where you can find the system information and rest of the things. Uh, further if we uh, click start and uh, we have my pictures, music and other things even the recently op uh, opened documents. Start menu has been changed in this version. Plus it had a Windows uh, 10 tour and they have added, added Windows Media Player over here. Uh, lots of new icons, very beautiful as compared to the earlier releases. Plus if we right click, we had the same options of sorting the items. We can refresh it. We can create the new folders over here. And if we go to the properties, you can change different themes of it based on the setup that you want and then on the desktop you can customize the icons over here you can even change the icons there were lots of options in it and you can clean the desktop if you had any older items screen savers were there lots of interesting screen savers were added with the options and then the overall appearance of the windows with the icons and the colors etc lots of customizations here you can see and check the resolution of the desktop if we we'll right click on this pc we had an option over here to map the drive which was there before also and if we we'll go to the properties we have lots of new tabs appearing over here and uh, we can change the name of the computer different hardware features device manager to update the drivers simply by updating the driver like this 
and then we had options of the performance so if your pc was performing a bit slow you can click on it and it would change the color appearance and all the gel icons to get the maximum performance of the pc now error reporting was included over here if you want to enable it or disable it and if you want to change any startup icons of the computer plus remote desktop connection was enabled in this one so if you want you can connect it remotely plus windows updates on and off features were there if you want to enable it or disable it entirely up to you system restore option was there we can create different system restore points and we can restore them whenever we want to now further if you go to the manage settings of windows xp we had event viewers which is quite new in this windows xp plus we had shares available we had different user groups enabled in this one where we can add users to respective groups for their permissions performance logs were added to this operating system and then the device manager Further, if you want to see different things related to the storage, they were there. For disk management tools, they added this feature where you can uh, check and explore and change the drive letter of the uh, partition or the hard disk that you are using. Further, we had services available in Windows XP which were not there in the previous version of Windows. Now, Let's go to the start menu and see the items over here. First of all, we had Windows Update over here. Then if we'll go to the accessories, we had accessibility features like Magnifier Narrator is added over here, which can read it aloud for us. Then in communications, we had the same network ports, etc. In entertainment, they added Windows Media Player. In system tools, as you can see, the disk cleanup feature has been added and uh, we had scheduled task and system restore is appearing in calculator now we have command prompt which wasn't there in the previous version of windows so that's something new in this version and uh, if we'll go further down to the system tools and address book command prompt notepad is there uh, ms paint is still the same there is no change in the version of ms paint and if we we'll go to accessories in system tools um, then we have remote desktop connection we can synchronize it windows explorer was there and wordpad has been improved quite a lot as compared to the previous version of wordpad now further if we we'll go down we have lots of new games appearing and uh, internet explorer has been upgraded and we have a latest version of windows media player internet explorer which came with a new feature of tabs which was introduced in internet explorer you can further see that search has been improved over here where we saw these interesting emoticons appearing and we can search them by the pictures music files or video files etc or we can search it by all files and all drives further we could choose the date through which it was modified in control panel uh, we had a classic view and a normal view where we could see the icons and the accessibility feature is there add remove programs has been improved quite a lot where if we want to add new programs we can simply add it from cd or floppy or from windows update or if we want to remove or add any features in the windows we can simply click on this one and check the details of it and add the features if we want to adobe flash player was added folder options were there if we want to change the interface of the files further if we want to show and file and uh, hide the hidden files game controller was there we could change the internet options and we can even add the lan settings from here further keyboard and mouse settings network settings uh, network wizard uh, power options then printers regional options security sound start menu items and to change the classic view etc if we want to go to the older version of start menu we could do it from here then from the user accounts we can see the user accounts we can change the user account and we could even
create new user accounts from here. If we we'll go to run and we'll type CMD, you can see that CMD has been added. We'll go to run and we'll type services. We can see that services are added and we can start and stop the services from here. If we'll go and type MS config, it's there where we can manage the configuration files and the startups of the computer. If we go and we will type gpedit.msc, group policies were added in this version of Windows as well, where we could modify the settings, account policies, quite advanced operating system as compared to the previous releases of the operating system from Microsoft. And if we'll click start and we'll click, we can even log off or turn off. So both options were there. So if we want to turn off the computer, that's the interface. So that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much.